the critical centers, they, I mean, like, like, think about it. If your body's not retaining essential minerals, like there's, there's going to be some really serious imbalances. One of those is that you hold on to potassium, right? Potassium, uh, hyperkalemia, many patients who have chronic kidney disease end up uh, with hyperkalemia. I think their number is like almost 10% of them, which can lead to a fatal heart attack, you know, a heart, a cardiac arrest, cardiac arrest, your heart just stops. Um, if that doesn't scare you enough, um, there's also the increased risk of heart attacks because now that your body's not converting uh, vitamin D into active form, now you have uh, bone leaking, sorry, calcium leaking from your bones, which can get caught up in blood vessels and stop and clog up your heart, leading to heart attack, right? Which is uh, another scary symptom that can lead to death. Right. Um, so there's 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 these annoying symptoms, but there's also the fatal ones. You know, of course, I know I know osteoporosis is not fun, but, you know, uh, let's let's protect. If you want to protect your heart, protect your kidneys, protect your kidneys. Right. Um, and that's why the and it's, it's very similar to diabetes and liver disease. The most people who have chronic kidney disease don't end up on dialysis. Do you know why, Scott? They don't end up on dialysis. Why is that? <laughs> They die of a heart attack first. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're, if you're afraid of dialysis, fear that first. So that, now that I've properly scared you, let's answer the question. What can we do? What can I do to, to uh, you know, so, mitigate my risk and to slow the progression of kidney disease if I have it, right? Um, number one is diet. I can't go, I can't bypass that, but it's diet. Um, and the diet that's been shown to be most friendly to diet to kidney disease is a whole food plant-based diet all right um this is not just you know uh my diet is better than yours this is actually back big backed by science there's now it's and i i love this like because it's not this has not been true in the past but now nephrologists and kidney associations like kidney institutions that 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 do research and publications on kidney are now acknowledging that a, a plant-based diet is kid, not only kidney friendly, but kidney protective. Okay. So, and there's multiple reasons for that. We could probably have a live just on how a plant-based diet can help you help your kidney disease and why, but just to highlight a few reasons, cause I feel like we're more likely to do something that can understand why. So uh, one of the thing, reasons why a whole food plant-based diet is helpful for chronic kidney disease is that plant-based proteins, are alkaline versus animal proteins being acidic. So when we have animal proteins in our diet, it's more likely that we have, we put our body in an acidic state, which the kidneys do not like, right? Acidity or acid uh, acidic state in our body damages our kidneys, right? There's also the issue of fat. Animal animal based foods are higher in saturated fat. Saturated fat compromises our blood vessels within hours of eating a, a, a diet or a meal rich in saturated fat, your blood vessels are constricting, right? Which is compromising flow, blood flow to your kidneys, right? Um, or we talk about also the fact that salt intake compromises our kidneys. And one of the sources that are highest in salt is not plant-based foods. It's unfortunately not just a processed junk and a salt, salt shaker, but animal foods. Like a lot of people are probably surprised to know that the one, number one source of salt in the adult diet doesn't come from the salt shaker. It actually comes from chicken, right? Uh, so, and the reason that is, is, is this is pretty interesting, Scott. You know, did you know that they inject salt water into chickens to increase their volume so they could sell more? Oh, so higher. Yeah. Yeah. Franken chicken. So, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you're getting an extra dose of chicken on top of the seasoning you're putting on your chicken. Um, yeah.